The thing is that um, some coaches own their non-neutrality. Um, coaches in the climate change sector, for example, they offer space for clients who also want to make a positive difference like that. So you're on both with the same agenda. And if you pick your clients carefully, then the non-neutrality is not necessarily an issue. We just have to be careful not to collude with the client. And then maybe there's blind spots, things we don't see. NLP coaches, for example, uh, also uh, famously have an agenda. They, they influence, they very consciously influence and direct clients. They mm -hmm. create rapport, they create a condition where the client is in, more influential and then they guide them. It's called pacing and leading, right? You, you create rapport and then you act as a role model so people can can copy other people, not just the coach, but also role models out in life. Many coaches use uh, role models as a, as a way to help emanate certain behavior that we want to do. So clients might want to be influenced, consciously or unconsciously, right? A client might, but there's a lot of responsibility for the coach. When we are guiding and influencing, we take a lot of responsibility for the results.